Kansas State Parks and Public Lands, large and small, are dressed up and ready for a major holiday weekend as the 4th of July approaches. Wherever you are in Kansas, outdoors recreational opportunities abound. Even in hot weather, fishing is good this week as bass, catfish, wipers, walleye, and panfish continue to rate good at many lakes. Up-to-date fishing reports on the Kansas Wildlife and Parks website help find the best places to go. State parks provide something for everyone as well as a showcase of Kansas geography. Choose a park away from where you live and learn firsthand the diverse beauty of the Kansas landscape. Some western Kansas reservoirs have benefited from recent rains and are in great shape for holiday fun. State parks provide a spectrum of camping choices from full hookups to primitive tent camping. While many choose the comforts of air conditioning and travel trailers, others are content to rough it, spending lots of time in the water to stay cool. That might mean swimming, speeding down the lake on watercraft, or boating, tubing, or water skiing. While you'd expect to find holiday preparations at large parks, don't overlook smaller public lands opportunities either. Kansas Wildlife and Parks employees are mowing, finishing construction projects, and preparing many of these sites as well. And they can offer great, out-of-the-way fishing opportunities. Best of all, these areas require no permits or fees to camp or access the areas. Example, Kurt Shoemaker at Jewel State Fishing Lake near Mankato. I uh, work out of the Cocker City office, uh, public lands and uh, a lot of my work is done in that area, but uh, we do uh, spend time here at the Jewel County Fishing Lake and try to keep it up as as nice as we can for the people that's coming out here to enjoy it. Like Memorial Day uh, uh, weekend here, we had 27 vehicles, every campsite was full, and I counted 47 people fishing uh, on our lake, so we were real proud of that. Whatever your outdoors interest, Kansas has something for you. There's still time to pack up and head out for a holiday adventure. If you know your destination, call ahead to learn specific details about camping availability. Some state parks will host fireworks shows this weekend as well as other holiday events. Only a few parks allow personal fireworks and those that do have designated areas for the activity. Before shooting any personal fireworks at a state park, check with a local office. For more information about holiday weekend events, go to the Kansas Wildlife Parks and Tourism website for a complete listing. I'm Mike Blair for Kansas Wildlife Parks and Tourism.